is the posse. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Relic Posse. We're really excited today. We've only got a few hours uh, before dark. We got out here after work, but um, this is a field that, if you remember two or three videos ago, we stopped by. It was pretty overgrown at the time. It was hard to swing, but in the little bit of um, bare patches we could find, I found a largey, I found a silver ring. Uh, and Bill, you say there's some history to this property. Yeah, on an uh, old uh, 1800s map. It looked like there was a couple houses up here and uh, possibly the site of an old tavern. So we think the tavern might have been in this field. We're not sure. We can't really tell on the map. But if it wasn't an old tavern, it's at least an old 1800s house. And the tavern was right near here. So hopefully we'll get on to that. Well, I'm excited. Um, you saw a couple of videos ago where I found that ring and that largey. So hopefully there's a lot more here for us. And hopefully Chris will join us later. So, All right. So saddle up. It's time to take another ride with the posse. All right, just dug my first hole and a Relic Posse special. Starting out with a washer. One that looks like it's got a lot of age to it. Hopefully it's a sign of better things to come. There you go, Kelly. Nice old washer. At least I think that's what it is. Kind of square, but um, I like it. Now let's find some old coins and other good stuff. All right, just to uh, start swinging across this field that we just started. And uh, just popped a little plug. Was uh, getting a nice signal and uh, just dug this uh, nice dandy button. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything on the face, but uh, a nice shank on the back. It's uh, not bad. At least uh, we're starting to get on some signals. So... Uh, Chris and Mike are not too far from me. Beautiful night. We just started. First hole. First signal. First hole. Nice dandy button. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to find a whole lot in this field. So on to the next. Well, so far I've had two good signals that were junk. And now I got one si good signal. Nothing spectacular, but it's a uh, fired musket ball, it looks like. That sounded kind of crappy, and it's the best target I've got. gotten. The uh, last ones, one was a solid 92, and one was a solid 91, and it was a copper tube and a piece of aluminum. But this was an 85 on the dais, and appears to be a fired musket ball. Well, I hope Chris and Bill are having better luck than I am. It's been nearly two hours, and... Other than tin cans, that washer, and now this piece of horse tack. Nice solid ring, but um, not all that exciting. Hopefully we've still got a couple hours left. We'll see what else we find. It is a pretty nice heavy piece of horse tack, though. I do like it. I just want to find some coins. Or at least a button. Or something. Well, Bill found a dandy button over there a little while ago. I got just about a half a dandy button. Has part of the shank on it. Looks pretty smooth. There might be uh, stars on the outside, but I'm not sure. It might be just dirt. It's definitely smooth. So, keep checking the area. Obviously, there was 1700s activity around here. All right, on to the next. Well, guys, a couple of friends here, Jeff and John, came out to one of my permissions. First signal I got out here with the, the legend today. Dig it out. I got myself a fully intact shoe buckle. That's awesome. Nice, we got permission to go to John's. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Sure, go for oh it. man, I don't want to ruin this thing. Yeah, I'll have to would... try and clean that up when I get home. Yeah, you send you some Woo! more videos. Nice one. Good way to start. All right, it's been a little bit uh time since I found that uh, nice dandy button. You can see we're kind of over there where the car is. Uh, Mike is somewhere. There he is over there. Chris. Chris is over here behind me somewhere. 
just monkeying around, not getting a whole lot of signals at all in this field, which kind of surprises me, but maybe somebody's been on it, but just got this nice little uh, cuff button, flat button. So uh, that's nice. Onto the buttons, and uh, hopefully we'll find a couple coins in here. But if not, you know, buttons are nice too. All right, back at you. Okay, Mike is way up over there. Bill's over there. Right over here is where I found that uh, half a dandy button. And there's like a little indentation here. There's uh, square nails everywhere. There's iron everywhere. It's probably the best view in the county. So there had to have been a house or something up here. It's got the indentation and the nails and the iron. But can't find any coins. No good signals at all. I've kind of looked around where uh, maybe their yard would be or their cornfields or whatnot. Just not finding any coins, but there's got to be something here. I mean, this has got to be one of the best views in the whole county. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but we're up pretty high. It's just beautiful. I, there's got to be, got to be something here. All right, I'll get back at you. We're going to keep on looking. Hopefully we'll come across something soon. Okay, I just hung up the phone saying there's uh, no good signals around here. As soon as I did, came across a decent signal. Not sure what that is. Is it some kind of horse tack, some kind of buckle? If anybody knows, can you let me know in the comment section? I'm guessing it's some kind of horse tack, but I'm not sure. It was uh, probably about seven, eight inches down. But this is a plowed field, so who knows? But it's kind of cool. I'm not sure what it is, though. If you can let me know, that'd be great. Thank you. All right, hey guys, here I am again. I'm actually in one of my local Greenway trails. I've done it a couple times, a few different machines. Out here today with the legend. It's got a. I don't know, 55, 56 signal bouncing back and forth. I dug the hole out. Uh, it sounded like it was in there at first. I dug it out. Got it out of here. I'm seeing roundness. Definitely a big coin. Let's see if I can clean it up a little bit. I'll get back to you. All right, well, I cleaned it up a little bit here. You can see Liberty in that headdress. I don't know that I can get a date. Maybe later on. Definitely, I would say, a large scent. Later on tonight, I'll clean it up, see if I can get something else on it. Hey, okay, I got something in the dirt. Not sure what it is yet. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like it's either going to be a dandy button or a coin. I kind of need two hands to get it out, but uh, let me see if I can pop it one-handed. Oop. And it is a coin. Unfortunately, it's about the size of a modern quarter. Ha, and that's what it is. There's the eagle. Oh, well. I did find a coin, though. 1971, maybe? I don't know. Can you see it? 1978 or 79, 78. Oh, well. It's over 40 years old, I guess. Not silver, but not what I was hoping for, but it's a coin. Well, I'm heading my way back to the truck because I'm thirsty. Mike's right here. On the way back, I just dug a spoon bowl. Looks like coppery. I don't know if the handle's still down in there. This ring's solid. It was a uh, 84, 
you know, 84 on the dais. So I thought maybe it was going to be a, a coin or a button, but spoon bowl is cool. And I'm going to see if I can find the handle. If I do, I'll get back at you. If not, I'm going to get some Wawa. Well, the hill we were on was way up there. We came all the way down here on the old map. I think it was an 1852 map or something like that. There was an old house somewhere in here. And it looks like a nice little hump here for a house. Anyway, my first signal, it's a, it's a bullet. It's like a four or five ringer. I don't know how old it is. It doesn't look too old, but I've never seen one like that. It's pretty cool though. I like it. Okay, must be a bullet kind of day for me. Found a musket ball now. Unfired. Looks like it was dropped. Can't tell if there's patina on it or not. It's kind of dirty, but I'm guessing it's old. Okay, let's start finding coins now. Alright, we moved... Uh down the road a little bit to another field and I don't know if you can see it or not but Chris is over there by the road and right across the street from him again I don't know if you can see too well but there is a whole herd of cows dairy cows now these cows were way up in that field across the way and they saw Chris over there down over here by the road and uh, they all came a running they wanted to go down and uh, say hello to him He's over there busy digging, not paying any attention to them at all. And uh, the, some of them are starting to get disinterested now, I think, and wandering off. But that is that is very funny. That, uh, you know, people in, they really don't know anything about cows. Uh, they're very sociable people. And uh, any place that we've been metal detecting with uh, either beef cattle or dairy cattle, uh, you know, they'll come running right over to you and... Uh, want to see what's going on and uh, want you to pet him and everything else just like a dog but he's not paying any attention to him at all so all right hopefully we will found, find something and get back at you well we moved on to the next field over that field wasn't doing too good been going around here a little bit I guess Chris has got a couple bullets Bill is way over there I don't know what if anything he's found I know he said he found the remnants of a house and I just found a flat button doesn't look like there's anything fancy on it but um it's intact first good find i've had all day and there she is you can see the shank is fully intact and like i said doesn't look like there's anything on the front but still love the old buttons let's hope we find a coin next there's something i haven't found in a while nice pull tab and that one's got me stumped. It kind of looks like a, maybe a 1969 Smithers. I'm not really sure. Can anybody tell me, is that a Smithers? 68 or 69, I'm not sure on that, but cool. All right, well guys, I'm back. I don't know the fairly decent signal. I wasn't sure what the heck it was. I started digging. I was digging pretty deep. I mean, you could see. I'm elbow deep here. I pull out most of a lantern. Old oil lamp. Kind of busted on one side here, but it's pretty neat. I get it home, cleaned up later. I'll send you some pictures. All right, my first hole over here in this new field. Uh, I'll have to change my lens here on you, and uh, so you can see what the heck I'm talking about pretty soon. But I found this piece of brass. Um, I don't know, it almost looks like a piece to a barrel or something like that. Uh, it's all nice and smooth or whatever. 
could have been to a some kind of an axle or a wheel or something like that but definitely gave me a nice sound and uh i thought i had a large center or something but uh just got this piece of brass all right back at you can anybody guess what i just found oh my god you got it another bullet looks like uh half of the same bullet that i found over yonder I'm guessing they're newer, but still haven't found my coins. It's got the shank too. Yeah. There's definitely something on it. Huh. Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Good for one swing in the mouse. Well, this is the area that that kid found three GW buttons. Yeah. I'm not saying it is. I don't see any lettering on it, but there's like a Right around here, there's like a wing. Here, look hmm. in your thing there. But you got a nice fancy around the edge. Oh yeah, you can see the fancy on the edge. And oh. you can see like feathers on it. Yeah, it's like a, a wing or something. Yeah. Pretty cool, it's pretty dandy. Oh, it's much more dandy than a, a smooth one. There you go, hit it with the posse juice. Look at that GW coming through on it. That's oh, clean really nice. more juice on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you got that juice aiming in the right direction. Hey, your shirt says GW on it too now that you cleaned it off. Well that dirt's definitely coming off. Yeah, do the, do the pant rub. That looks like a time back oh, I've also. got this right here, the towel. There we go. It looks like a dandy time back. Is there such a thing? We'll find it out Why right not? Here. Sure looks up. That cleaned that up really good. All right, well, while Bill's cleaning that up, we'll check it out in a second, but um, I'll show you my finds because there weren't too many. I got the washer, kind of an old square washer, neat, big heavy uh, ring, and my one button, which is nowhere near a dandy, but the shank's still there, so I was happy with it. And I shall go next. I did not find Jack. I did not find Jill either. Got a nice little spoon bowl. It's a big one. Earlier I commented thinking my washer was going to be bigger than Mike's, but once again, he's got the bigger one. <laughs> and then I've got my whole array of buttons, or buttons, I wish, whole array of bullets. These two, I think, are the same. I don't know. That one looks like a bigger caliber. But there are three, four, five ringers, whatever they are. Fired musket ball, fired musket ball, drop musket ball, drop musket ball. Then I got, I think it's my 1968 Smithers. I haven't found one of these in a while. I'm not positive it's a 68. It might be a 69. Then I've got my 1978 quarter, 1978 Goodyear. I don't know why, it just is. And I got my piece of a dandy button. These guys are telling me it's Tom Beck. And then we will go on to Bill. All right, uh, and there's my finds. I uh, found that one dandy button, and it does look like there's a little bit of fancy on it, but it's uh, really hard to tell. It, uh, I think I'm going to invest in a, one of those ma coin magnifying their scopes there, and uh, that also does pictures, so that'll be nice to be able to do that and post them to the video. It's got the shank on the back, and then I go from that button to this little small cuff button, little flat cuff button. That one and that's got, on it. got a nice shank on it. Yeah, it's a. It's morning shank. One of George Washington's uh, um, aides or something must be with that it's one. When he was young and chopping down and, the tree. Uh, tree. Then we moved to another field and I, I found this piece of brass. Uh, no idea what it is, whether it's a piece of a barrel or some kind of a shaft for something, but um, rang up really nice, but uh, have no clue what it is. but. That is it. And I also forgot that I had found this pull tab. I have no idea what this is, but let's ask the pull tab king if he has a clue. I have no idea what that is. I have never seen one before. You might be right. It might be off-putting. I think it's a turbo edition. It might that be. fancy uh, tab puller on it there. 
pretty darn cool, whatever it is, though. Thank you, Pull Tab King. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs>